Hello everyone. I am Harsh and today we are going to learn Prism commands like how to use the Prism command and what are the command available in Prism. Before start the video, I would say let's subscribe this channel to get more knowledge on Prism. Today I am going to work on this toolbar part. So here I will add the toolbar view model. Right click add and then class. And I will say toolbar view model here i will inherit the bindable base class of prism add the name space for this using prism.mbvm will make it public in the toolbar view i will add the toolbar control so go to toolbar view Now here I will add the toolbar. Toolbar tray. And then inside this we will add toolbar. And in the toolbar I want to add some button. I will add one button. And I will set the content as open. And then close it. Okay, now let's run and see if this button is visible to UI or not. You can see here open button is here in the toolbar. So I will add command for this button. So now I will show you how to use the command. Okay, here I will add one command or first I will add the constructor here. I will say public i command then open command equal to new we have delegate commands in prism so i will use the delegate command here and i will add the namespace for this using prism dot commands and here also we have to add now here we have to pass two delegate one delegate which will execute the actual function and another delegate will decide if open command will execute or not so let's pass the delegates here i will pass execute and then can execute okay now let's create this i will generate the method Okay, now I will remove this static from here and also remove this thing. Here I will return true. Means every time this command will execute, that's why I am returning true here. And here I will perform some operation like I will show the message box. I will add the namespace for this using system.windows message box dot so and here I will pass the message open here I will say open command is executed we have to instantiate this open command inside the constructor let's move it to constructor I will add the getter here Now let's run and see. Okay, first we have to bind this command to our button. So go to toolbar view here and bind the command here. Command binding. Now let's run and see. Now let's click on open button. You can see open command is open command is executed, right? We can see the message box here. Means our command is working. Now what I want to do here, I want to add one checkbox here. And I will say is execute. And here also I will bind the is checked with is checked property. We'll create that property inside the view model. Okay. Now let's first close it. Now let's first add the property here. So I will say prop for and I will say bool it will be boolean type 
and then I will say is okay we have to use this is checked and here I will say is checked and now here I will call set property method set property method and here we have to pass the reference of is checked okay and then the value now I will remove this line if you observe here I have not implemented any I notify property changed because bindable base class will have all these things so I am using this set property method which is just like a on property changed now what I want to do here if this is checked button is clicked or checked then only we want to execute this command so here I will return is checked means if it is checked then this command will execute okay and by default I will make it as true now if it is unchecked it should not run our command right so let's run and see now if you see it is checked now if we click on open then this command will execute and now I want to uncheck this now if we click this it is not running right now again check it click on open it will run uncheck open it will not run if you observe here we don't have that rectangle button to check it or the checkbox right so how to fix that here I have to add this check box inside any layout panel I will use stack panel here inside the stack panel I will add this check box now let's run and see now you can see here it is now showing now we can uncheck you can see that tick mark is not there means it is unchecked now click on open it is not running our open command because it is false right so this is how we can use the command now we want to pass some parameter to our command how to pass that for that we have a generic command how to use that generic command let's see this is our view model here I want to pass boolean type okay for that here what I want I want to pass this where is that view this one I want to pass command parameter as command parameter and then I will pass binding and then I want this is checked property here which is of type boolean right that's why here I have to make generic as boolean now here we need to make changes on this method like here also we have to say bool is checked now we can use this parameter here and now it will work here in the same way we have to pass here as well okay now here I will use this is checked value here true or false I want to go in the message box okay this is of type generic delegate command and we want to pass the parameter to our command which is of type boolean that's why we have specified here bool now let's run and see here we are getting exception like t for delegate command t is not an object nor nullable right so how to fix this I will make it nullable here then we have to change here as well ok and here I will check if it has value then return the value ok now I will remove this one ok now let's run you can see it is unchecked right and this button is disable means command will not execute so let's check it and see the value is changed you can see value is true right even it is checked but it is not enabled right it means this method is not executed here that's why our button is not enabled because it is not clickable here so how to fix this for this we have one method called observe property like we want to observe this property if this property is changed then we want to update our command like it should execute or not so we have observe property here and then here we have to pass this property name which is is checked right
okay now let's run and see this is unchecked now i want to check and let's see if this method is executing or not i will click on it check it now see each checked is true right now it will return true and our button will be enabled now now we can click it and now it will execute our open command in the same way if we uncheck this our button will be disabled this is how we can observe any property on property change if we want to enable our command based on some property we can use the observe property method to enable or disable that command based on that property i directly want to observe can execute method so for that also we have one method in prism which is observe can execute now we are observing can execute method based on this property so now let's run and see let's click on it it's enabled let's click on it it's disabled but now i don't want to pass this can execute now let's run and see i will add the breakpoint here let's check it and check it you can see our button is enabled and disabled but if you see this method is not called but our this open command is open button is enabling and disabling based on this checkbox even if we delete this method then also it will work because it will execute this can execute method based on this is checked means it internally call this can execute method and in can execute it returns this property now let's run and see i have deleted can execute method right but if you see the result here i want to check it it is enabled if we click on open it will call that command right this is how observe can execute method works here like if we want to return some property from the can execute method and i don't want to create can execute method so in that case we can use observes can execute method and we can pass this property so that it will call the can execute method and it will return the value based on this property write in comment which you would prefer now i will show without prisma how we are using the command let's see the implementation you can see here in command video i have implemented i command interface and created wpf world command and here you can see there we have action functions and this event handler and all things we have to implement and write the code for all the function and action delegate but here in prism we don't have to write implementation for command we already have the command which is delegate command and we can use as generic as well as non generic i hope you understand how to use the prism command if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends